For the arrival of the President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Thabo Mbuyelwa Mbeki. Kau sama jarohi, uim kat saya kuamai, ngaku na set Afrika kau tu take an kara kiri, take home, take he kau ni aku, take he kat jarohi, kama karohi kau kau na home kara tak kau suye hitte an, ing hitte Afrika kau tu take an home. President of the Republic of South Africa and Ms. Mbeki, the Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa and Advocate Nuka, the Vice President of the Republic of Indonesia and Mrs. Yusuf Kala, distinguished nominees of orders, the orders of Nendi Ikamanga, Mapungubwe, and the com companions of O.R. Tambo. Representatives of nominees who are not here with us today, Honorable Ministers, Deputy Ministers, the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, the Vice Speakers of the Upper House of the Indonesian Parliament, Honorable Premiers, Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Honorable leaders of political parties represented in our parliament, the Honorable Judge President, Chairperson of the Chairpersons of our Chapter 9 Commissions, Chairperson of the Council of Traditional Leaders, the Chairperson of the Public Service Commission, and the Public Protector, Heads of National Departments, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very great honor and pleasure on behalf of the President and the Government of the Republic of South Africa and indeed the people of this splendid country to say a few words of welcome on this auspicious occasion, the investiture ceremony of the national orders. We extend to you all a warm and sincere welcome to the Union Buildings, the seat of the Presidency, 
and to this ceremony that has become part of the building blocks of our democratic society. We would like to welcome in particular the Vice President of the Republic of Indonesia. We thank you, sir, for honoring our invitation and gracing us with your presence. We also welcome the ministers and vice speakers of the Upper House of the Parliament of Indonesia, who are part of your delegation. We appreciate their presence in this ceremony. We also wish to extend a special welcome to the descendants of the family of Sheikh Yusuf, whom the president has decided to honor with the award of the Supreme Companions of O.R. Tambo. They are here to receive the award uh, to this hero of the people of Indonesia and the people of South Africa. If I may, I would like to ask them to stand so we can see them um, uh, and welcome them, uh, the descendants of the family. Thank you. Uh, this explains, Mr. President, this high-level delegation from Indonesia. Those who exiled Sheikh Yusuf to the distant Cape would never have dreamt how this would bind together the peoples of our two countries, and we thank you for your presence. As we take on this challenge of the second decade of our democracy, we gain inspiration and support, Mr. President, from the people represented here and from the interest shown to this, in this occasion throughout the nation and beyond. Mr. President, may I, as Chancellor of the National Orders, present to you our nominees for this ceremony who have been selected through an elaborate process of national nominations, research, consultations, and validation process. Some of the very best of our country, past and present, and our hero from Indonesia and the families will soon be passing before us on this occasion. They give us meaning as a free people. They remind us of past struggle and they remind us of a future challenge. They bring tears to our ear, eyes, and warmth to our hearts. They engender national pride and patriotism in the best sense of the word. There are those amongst them who have made renowned breakthroughs in and, are, and contributions to scientific and medical research. Those who were banned, detained, driven into exile, and harassed by apartheid authority. Those who, through Herculean acts of bravery, saved the lives of others, whether by storming into a burning aeroplane or plunging fearlessly into the sea to save a shark attack victim. We shall hear of the bittersweet sacrifice of life itself in the liberation struggle by the supreme patriot Solomon Masangu. There are those whose musical genius has inspired us for decades those whose contributions in the visual and creative arts have enriched our lives. Those whose abundant creativity in literature and the theater continues to inspire us all. And those whose achievements in sports, in spite of humble beginnings, disabilities, and injuries, are, able, are, are an example to all of us. Today's proceedings of grace and dignity will give us the opportunity to get to know a bit more about this past and present heroes of our nation and those who were exiled to our country to be part of our history. And in consequence, we shall learn more about ourselves and even more still about the direction we should take to the future. Mr. President, honored guests, we shall now honor these towering human beings who mean so much to us. And we invite the president uh, to conduct the ceremony. Thank you. Uh, Chancellor of the National Orders, 
Vice President and our friends from Indonesia, distinguished honorees, we are meeting in uh, the city of Tuane. I thought I noticed that uh, the Chancellor didn't acknowledge the presence of the mayor of the city. Uh, welcome, Mr. Mayor, in case you chase us away from your city. <laughs> In the name of the people, we welcome you to this solemn ceremony, convened to admit to the ranks of the Order of Mendi, the Order of Ikamanga, the Order of Mapungwe, and the Order of the Companions of O.R. Tambo, men and women who deserve high tribute for what they've done to enrich our lives and to make it possible for our diverse nation to proclaim itself an adherent of the ancient values of Ubuntu. On this hallowed occasion, the people of South Africa salute and express their humble tribute through the new national orders to the distinguished men and women who are the stars on our firmament by admitting them into the ranks of those who belong to the esteemed national orders of the cradle of humanity, the high pedestals on which will stand the human beings who have made it possible for us to live and develop in a world of freedom without the fetters of oppression. These national orders represent the nobility of human endeavor. We have convened today the seat of government union buildings to award the Order of Mendy for bravery to our brave hearts, those who gave or risked their lives so that others may live. These South Africans, for whom human life is priceless, have reaffirmed the principle born of struggle of the right to life. They have confronted clear and present danger of one kind or another with full knowledge of the potential harm to themselves to save human life and limb. They vanquished the natural instinct of self-preservation with the same courage and willingness to sacrifice for the greater good that was demonstrated by the heroes of the SS Mendy. By their deeds, they reaffirmed our philosophy of Ubuntu we are because of you. We have convened today the seat of government union buildings to admit to the order of Ikamanga our leading cultural workers, sportsmen and women. All of them have contributed to the pride we as a nation feel in our achievements that celebrate our inner African and human soul. Their accomplishments are representative of the wealth of human imagination and talent brought forth from our continent, which has since time immemorial endowed the planet Earth with the things of beauty that are products of human creativity. We have convened today at the seat of government, the union buildings, to, meet some, to admit some exceptional persons to the order of Mapungu. These are people whose activities cannot but be described as excellent. They are the men and women who dared to act outside the boundaries of the ordinary, taking upon themselves the skill and daring of the majestic bird, which stands on permanent guard to protect the nation. Her wings commune with the beams of the rising sun on our coat of arms, as the people of Mapungu were conversed with nature, the peoples of the universe, and the world of creative thought. We have convened today at the seat of government the union buildings, to admit a hero to the order of the companions of O.R. Tam. This hero fought against Dutch colonization of Southeast Asia, as the Khoisan resisted the Dutch colonization of the Cape. Ultimately was captured and exiled to South Africa where he died. These distinguished South Africans and international friends we honor today are fit and proper persons to receive these awards because of the special place they occupy among us. They are our examples of human creative talent, our guardians of Ubuntu who manifest the national gift of courage that rises with danger, our touchstones for our collective accomplishments as a nation, and stalwarts of human solidarity. They stand as beacons that must guide us forever as we build a society founded on the high ideals of freedom, of justice, of equality, and human solidarity. 
for all time, these men and women will be honored as esteemed members of these orders, subject to the precedence and authority of our national anthem, our national flag, and our national coat of arms, which represent the highest repositories of our common nationhood. We are especially blessed that this ceremony permits us to share a brief moment with the honored members of the national orders who live. We are especially privileged that this ceremony brings us into communion with the noble souls of the honored members of the national orders who have departed from the world of the living. To them all, the living and the dead, on this day, the nation says, by it. On this day, let all citizens and patriots proclaim glory to the honored members of the national orders. God bless Africa, save her children, grant her peace. The Order of Mendy for Bravery. The heroes of the Mendy gave up their lives in order that there may be peace in the world. In order that men and women of all colors and faiths may regard one another as brothers, not aliens, friends, not foes, and as partners and co-workers in God's scheme of things. This I think, is the supreme message of the Mendy. In his words, Reverend S. D. Moki said, this is the supreme message of the Mendy, that all men everywhere should regard one another in the very best of terms and realize, as perhaps never before, that their destiny is one, and that since in death they are one, why should they not be one in life too? We die together in war, but fight one another in peacetime. Why can't we here and now live together in love, even as we die side by side in war? That, I say, is the supreme message of the men. In the language of the poets, S E K Kai say, Ah, those dead stood in the foremost rank of Africa. Great the ship's burden when she sank. Brave of the brave they were. Men who bring with their blood greetings to the King of Kings. Death has its rewards to live again. Gladly I would stand with them. New risen men and shine like one whose work is well done in the great brightness of that day's dawn. So then, let it be. Pray silence for the bestowal of the Order of Mendy for bravery. Under the powers vested in me by Section 84 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, Act Number 108 of 1996, I now confer the Order of M Mendy for bravery on Simon John Mutombeni, Grant Nigel Kirkland, and Solomon Kaloshi Matlangu, posthumous, represented by his mother, Mrs. Martha Matlangu, and thereby admit them to the order of Mendy for bravery. They shall henceforth be honored as esteemed members of the members of the order. The people of South Africa salute them all. Krachtens die bijvoegdheden mij verleen by artikel 84 van die Grondwet van die Republiek van Zuid-Afrika. 1996, wet nummer 108 van 1996, ken ik hier meer de eerbewijs van de orde van mijn die verdapperheid toe. Ga man daar en daar was zo aan, ga kijken kan je je 84, je en daar je te wijen Afrika spende, je 1996, moet hij wapen 108, 1996, die koe u was aan Tony Boya, orde je mijn die je boerika. 
Ngemandla lengenike tona ngaphansi kwesigaba 84 semtsetfo sisekelo we Republic yeningizimu Africa 1996 umtsetfo nombolo 108 wanga 1996 ngithanda kukwehlonipha ngesicu se order yamendi Pray silence for Simon Mtombeni <laughs> The Order of Mendy for Bravery in Bronze, awarded to Simon John Mtombeni for outstanding courage displays, displayed while saving lives. Silence for Grant Nigel Kirkland. The Order of Mendy for Bravery in Silver awarded to Grant Major Nigel Kirkland for selflessly risking his life to save a fellow surfer. Matlango, represented by his mother, Martha Matlango. The Order of Mendy for Bravery in Gold, awarded to Solomon Kalushi Masangu, posthumous, for bravery and sacrificing his life for freedom and democracy in South Africa.
Ikamanga. The Order of Ikamanga. Budding with creativity like the rest, you blossomed with beauty like the best from land to land. Out of Africa's cradle of dust, you are the creative squire that glows. Your thronging tunes are loud as they blow to the distance across the streets. Where now are the muse across the seas to confirm the motherland's applause? You have heard the call to run the tough mile crafted with your palm's majestic beauty. Our wish to make a fair world with wounded hearts, yet no sorrow, abounds. To you, children of the heavens, and us mortal souls who create eternal beauty, we bestow the order of Ikamanga. Pray silence for the bestowal of the order of Ikamanga. Under the powers vested in me by Section 84 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, 1996, Act 108 of 1996, I now confer the honor the of order. the order of Ikamanga on Nonsomi Mildred Mangola, Nobesutu Gertrude, Gertrude Mbadu, George Teboho Mkalahadi, Matlatini Simon Kabinde, posthumously represented by his daughter, Miss. Emily Gabinde, Hilda Tlobatla, Marjorie Wallace, of, uh, posthumously represented by her curator, Ms. Amanda Porter, Peter Edward Clark, Harold Arthur Lanigan Fugard, represented by his sister, Mrs. Glenda Swart, Bonisile John Carney, Stephanus Johannes Lombard, Sophie Togomzina, Alina Ndebele, Henry Numalo posthumously represented by his son, Mr. Henry Numalo Jr., Lucas Hadebe, Archibald Campbell Mzolisa Jordan, posthumously represented by his son, Dr. Paolo Jordan, Nicholas Petras van Weg Low, posthumously represented by his daughter, Mrs. Camp, and thereby admit them to the order of Ikamanga. They shall henceforth be honored as esteemed members of the order. The people of South Africa salute them all. Kadi thata se kiri abetsing ka karalo 84 ya mlao theo wa Republic ya Africa wa 1996 mlao 108 wa 1996 ya nun kinyela tuto ya mupat wa ikamanga. Mm, wale kunga ngo chare lisi go Africa in the season ita Pray silence for Miss Nomsomi Mildred Mangola. The Order of Ikamanga in bronze awarded to Nonsobi Mildred Mangola for outstanding contributions in traditional music. <laughs> 